Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. We have three stories for you this week, so let's jump right in. Yesterday, Flyability launched the Elios 3. It's the world's first LiDAR-equipped indoor drone. And if you're not familiar with LiDAR technology and how that works, LiDAR is also sometimes called laser scanning or 3D scanning. Basically, using a bunch of fancy lasers, you can bounce that off an object or surface and measure the time it takes for the reflected light to get back to the receiver. So that's how LiDAR works. And you know, you're getting really accurate measurement data, uh, which is great for the kind of indoor flying that Flyability's customers will be doing with the Elios 3. Uh, fun fact, the Elios 3 has been in development for four years. Um, so over 200 missions uh, in rugged locations all over the world, like mines, nuclear plants, oil refineries, and cement factories. Now, one of the coolest things about the Elios 3 is that it uses LiDAR uh, to create live 3D models in real time as it flies. Uh, the video you're seeing now is an example of the kinds of models the Elios 3 can make. This is a 3D fly through a no-go zone inside of a decommissioned nuclear power plant. Uh, congrats to our friends at Flyability on this launch. You've come a long way since the original Elios model, which I actually got to demo uh, at, I believe, the Interdrone or Commercial UAV Expo conference several years ago. Next up, DJI released a big firmware update for two of their enterprise products. First is the Matrice 300 RTK, a uh, kick butt kind of drone used in a number of enterprise applications. And second is the Zenmuse L1, which is one of the payload sensors you can attach to the Matrice 300 RTK. Uh, and this is DJI's LiDAR sensor. Um, so second uh, story involving LiDAR. So with the Zenmuse L1, the firmware update includes accuracy and calibration improvements. And just to give you an idea of how these firmware updates can improve a drone, the interesting data point here is that apparently with an example uh, terrain follow mission, the firmware update took it from taking 24 minutes to 14 minutes. Same exact drone, same exact LiDAR sensor, the Zenmuse L1, but a new firmware update downloaded and boom, a much more efficient system. With the M300 RTK drone, there were a number of firmware updates. If you're interested in the specifics, check out the link below in the description of this video. Okay, lastly, something we do not recommend trying at home, but boy, what a video. Uh, a few weeks ago in Crowell, Texas, drone pilot and storm chaser Brandon Clement shot this video during some inclement weather. He was able to capture this wild footage of a tornado crossing a field. We don't know what drone he was flying, but this is 4K footage. Uh, and you can look down at the road to get a sense of how fast he's flying. Hat tip to our friend Jim Eds over at ExtremeStorms.com for sending us this video. Uh, the full version of Brandon's drone video is over at the WX Chasing YouTube channel, and we'll link to that below in the description. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below in the description to read more. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.